Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain signal to noise ratio of quantization. So here, I will derive equation of signal to noise ratio in terms of dB. So first of all, you need to understand what is signal to noise ratio. See, it is a ratio of signal to noise. If you calculate that in terms of dB, then it will be 20 log of signal voltage divided by noise voltage, right? So here, signal to noise ratio SNR in terms of dB, that will be 20 log of signal RMS voltage divided by noise RMS voltage. If you consider signal in terms of power and noise in terms of power here, then here there should be 10 log of signal power divided by noise power. But here we are considering RMS value in terms of voltage. That's why we need to consider 20 log of signal RMS voltage divided by noise RMS voltage. Now, let me explain calculation of noise RMS voltage. See, noise RMS voltage, that will be 1 by delta integration, where limit is ranging from minus delta by 2 to plus delta by 2 q square dq. So, here we have noise RMS voltage and here we have a square. And in integration, here we have q square. Now, let us integrate this. See, integration of q square, that will be q raised to 3 divided by 3, right? And here limits are there from minus delta by 2 plus delta by 2. Now, if you take this 3 outside, then we can apply limits over here. So, q raised to 3 with limit delta by 2, that will be delta cube divided by 8 minus you need to apply lower limit. So, here if you apply lower limit with minus delta by 2, then it will be minus delta cube divided by 8. So, this minus minus that is getting plus. So, we will be having delta raised to 3 divided by 4 over here. And if you further simplify this, then this delta and one delta is getting cancelled. So, we will be having delta square divided by 12. And this is what? RMS value of noise voltage. And here we have a square. So, if you want this in terms of voltage, then you can take square root at both of the side. So, delta square will be delta and root of 12, that will be 2 root 3, right? So, this is noise RMS voltage. Now, let us try to understand signal RMS voltage. To understand signal RMS voltage, you need to understand few basics. First of all, you need to understand what is full scale voltage. If I say full scale voltage is VFS, then that will be Vmax minus Vmin, right? And if you talk about peak voltage, then that will be half of full scale voltage. See, if you talk about peak, then here we have one sinusoidal signal, right? So, peak will be how much? Peak will be half of full scale, right? So, here we will be having peak voltage that will be half of full scale voltage. Now, if you talk about RMS value, then RMS value of VFS divided by 2, that will be VFS by 2 divided by square root of 2, right? Now, you need to understand this VFS in terms of step size delta, right? So, here let me define delta. See, delta is Vmax minus Vmin divided by number of levels in quantization. Now, what is number of levels? Number of levels that is 2 to the power n, where n is number of bits per sample. And Vmax minus Vmin that is full scale voltage. So, Vmax minus Vmin that is Vfs and L is 2 to the power n. So, now one can represent Vfs in terms of delta. So, Vfs will be how much? That will be delta into 2 to the power n, right? Now, you can substitute this Vfs, that is 2 to the power n into delta, in signal RMS voltage equation. So, here we have signal RMS voltage, where Vfs is this. Let us substitute that, right? Now, we have noise RMS voltage, 
and signal RMS voltage. So both of these equations that one can substitute in the equation of SNR, right? So here, now what I'll do is I'll substitute signal RMS voltage and noise RMS voltage in this basic equation. So if you substitute signal RMS voltage, that is 2 to the power n delta divided by 2 root 2 and noise RMS voltage that is delta divided by 2 root 3 and if you observe here this delta and this delta that is getting cancelled and this 2 and this 2 that is also getting cancelled. So here we will be having 2 to the power n and this square root of 3 that will go in numerator. So here we will be having square root of 3 by 2. Now here we can apply logarithmic property. One should know log of a b will be log of a plus log of b, right? So here we will be having 20 log of 2 to the power n plus 20 log of square root of 3 by 2, right? See 20 log of 2 to the power n that will be 20 into n into log 2. So that will be 6.02 into n, right? And see this 20 log of square root of 3 by 2, if you calculate that in calculator, then that will be 1.76. So this is SNR of quantization. And if you have seen my last video based on dynamic range, then I have explained dynamic range of quantization. See dynamic range is 6.02 n. So if you compare SNR equation, then in SNR also we have 6.02 n that is dynamic range plus 1.76. Right. So dynamic range equation that I have explained in my last video that is 6.02 n and SNR is 6.02 n plus 1.76. Now here there are few basics that you need to understand. See signal to noise ratio that should be as high as possible. And to increase signal to noise ratio we need to increase number of bits per sample. So here if you increase the value of n then signal to noise ratio will increase, right? And even if you want to increase dynamic range, then also you need to increase the value of n. n is bit depth as well as one can say n is number of bits per sample. So by increasing the value of n, one can increase dynamic range as well as one can increase signal to noise ratio. So this is how one can understand signal to noise ratio in quantization. And this is very essential equation. Using this equation, in future coming videos, I'll be solving examples even. So you should note down those equations. Dynamic range is 6.02 into n and signal to noise ratio that is 6.02 n plus 1.76. And remember one thing, see this calculation that is there in terms of dB, right? So this is not there in terms of values. It is there in terms of dB. If you want to convert this in terms of value, then you will have to perform this equals to 20 log of value. So divide this by 20 and then take anti log that will be resulting into value. So this is all about signal to noise ratio of quantization. I hope you have enjoyed this. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.